Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Let us see what is the collective reading for the Scorpio sign. Let's look into your current situation. Um, let's look into your life events, Scorpio, and let's channel the intuitive message for you, okay? We will be looking into love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? This is valid for a month. If I will be able to, you know, to pick up a more specific timeline, I will let you know what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? What can I get for Scorpio sign, please? Love, career, money, and general situationship. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, please also follow me in my main channel. The name of the main channel is Sunshine. For private reading and for the merchandise, everything is processed on the website, okay? This is for the... Ooh, you've got love in here. Lover's card. What is the guided message for Scorpio sign in love, career, money, and general situation, please? You have the Four of Cups. And you have the Queen of Pentacles in here. And you've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, let's start the reading, guys. So, you're very confused, Scorpio. It looks like the recent past events, okay? The recent energy, the recent past events, whether it's love, career, money, maybe a general area, Collective reading, it feels like you're confused, the moon card. Like something, someone is confusing you. Uh, there's a part of you that you would like to take a risk and take them in or do it. You also would like to confront, confront somebody. But then you're tired, you know, four of swords, five of pentacles in here. There's a feeling of confuse and restlessness inside of you, Scorpio, okay? So I'm doing... You know, I'm doing the next 24 hours reading. You know, I'm doing like a, almost a collective reading daily. So I'm channeling the most current vibe uh, for you, Scorpio. Your current feelings, your current energies. So there's a part of you that, I don't know, I'm, I'm picking up that four of swords, five of, maybe you don't have enough sleep, Scorpio, okay? There's a part of you that four of sleep, four of sleep, four of swords, five of pentacles, like you're tired of the usual people. Like you're tired. You feel restless and tired. And you're confused at the same time. Okay. Something, someone is triggering you. Okay. Um, looking back, you know, in the last 10 days, it's really been a challenge, Scorpio. I can feel the ethers, the ground, you know. I can feel that there is some sort of triggers. Um, a lot of people is pushing us, Scorpio. But it's changing. I could feel it's changing now. Okay. It's going to change. Take a breather. Step back. I like the element of. I like the combination of the. The four of swords. In the middle of the moon card. And the five of pentacles Scorpio. I like this. Because if you cannot manage it. Don't handle it. Drop it off. Um, For some of you guys. It's important for you. It's important for you to rest. Okay mind body soul because if you have good sleep you will be able to decide you will be waking up with a more stable emotions and nobody can trigger you and sleep is very important sleep and rest is very important most especially if you're going through something restless something complicated there's challenge in here scorpio i can really feel like right now there is a lot of challenge. Like the people that you want to be with, the people that you want to talk, the situation that you would like to work, it's giving you a five of pentacles. Like it, it's giving you a no response or they're not supportive or they're leaving you behind. So you're confused. Take a break. Take a breather. Take a break. Because the five of pentacles, this is like, you know, it's sorry for the noise. I'm just because the five of pentacles is about scarcity 
and you're feeling alone because normally the people that you want to be with or the project or the situation that would like to work it's not coming into fruition you know so when things are not in divine alignment when things are not meant when things are not in you know divine order it can get it can really get us into sorry for the noise for the frustration mode okay the thing is scorpio you know what i have so many mic i have really expensive microphone um headset i've got lapel the thing is scorpio whenever i use it i cannot tap into my intuition because there's something in my intuition that i need to hear the echo of my voice and there's something about microphone i don't know, something about that that it's inorganic for me that it's not connecting in my intuition okay so sorry we've got to work with with the noise sorry okay sorry for that now so that's your current situation current energies right now you're feeling alone or there's some sort of scarcity or there's something missing and that person that outcome you know like five of pentacles this is not the outcome that i want this is not the person that i want this is what i want how you know like it's a part of you that restless frustrated why are you not this why is this like that you know take a breather take a rest the middle the middle card is the four of swords okay um sorry for the noise like what i said a lot of a lot of triggers but we've got to be patient you we've got to be patient i'm telling you guys there's something in the last seven eight ten days that is really triggering us to be a dark scorpio sometimes it's very powerful to go dark we're good at that but it's also good to be good and the reason why it's good to be good it's good to be patient it's good to be graceful it's good to be respectful it's good to be diplomatic because it's good and if you're good then you are giving something to the universe in the world of this hate bashers doing something good can repel the evil and not only that but scorpio i believe that there is a universal rewarding system you do good good will come to you that's karma okay so things are not really working your way it's restless take a break take a breather sleep well and i'm also seeing here look at the plants you know have a good night's sleep take a rest and then i'm seeing the plants in here so for some of you guys try to try to cleanse declutter your thoughts you know put yourself in a good sleep the next day you feel much better you will know how to handle with emotional triggers or stress okay so just take a breather scorpio now let's look into people situation person that will connect with you in the next three to seven ten days you know the advice or the intuitive message could uh could happen soon or you know a month from now but let's see okay you've got a lover's card in here you could be dealing with a gemini mm -hmm. you've got a six of swords you've got a gate someone likes you from a from a long distance okay like this king of there is a person this king of swords they cannot move on <laughs> you know this person scorpio i feel like this is one of your stress this king of swords it's from long it's a person from long distance it's a person who's traveling it's a person who's moving it's a person who is who hasn't talked to you for six months you know six days six weeks but the king but this king of swords cannot move on if you look at the king of swords he looks at the six of swords in here so right now they would like to take a risk and really express what's in their heart for you scorpio okay um i feel like this king of swords they would like to invite you scorpio it could be a manager it could also be a lover but it's someone close to you you know guys i'm not, I'm, I'm picking up strongly that this is 20 percent professional because i really feel like that the moon card the five of pentacles 
these are energies connected to personal personal relationship with family personal relationship with friends personal circumstances with love but this is very personal so for some of you um 15 to 20 percent this is like a professional reading like a relationship to someone at work um but this could be a manager or someone who manage or you manage them but there's a manager like maybe there's some sort of control so who is coming towards you is a king of swords to be honest with you scorpio this person cannot move on and they're very sincerely sorry okay like it could be a lover it could be a friend it's something personal if the, it could be 15 percent work but i can feel how this person like they're very intense like this king of swords is looking into the six of swords and at the back of the six of swords is the lover's card so they're remembering you lovingly respectfully gratefully um I feel like their recent action or past action is something that they regret, okay? This person cannot move on because they regret their recent action or their, their past action towards you. Because for some of you, this could have been taken place six months ago. Let's see. The Six of Swords. Because they're looking at you right now. Like looking at, looking at your photo, looking at your... They're looking at your photo, looking at your social media profile. They're looking at your messages in here. Four of Wands, yes. It feels like, you know, Four of Cups, Four of Wands. They will send you... They will send you a message. And it's very, it's very complimenting message. It's, it's a mess. It's a complimenting message. It's it's a message that will flatter you, okay? Because they don't know how to say sorry. And like I'm kind of picking up the person, this king of swords could also be like a father, an uncle. But instead of say, like they might say sorry in a different lingo. Um, they might say sorry in, in a grateful um, way. So... Instead of saying sorry, this person will like, I really appreciate you because you're patient, because you're loving, because of this, you know. So you might misunderstood them with the Queen of Pentacles in here. Like, what are you saying? You know, um, the universe is telling me that you might feel confused, like this King of Swords four, because this is the Four of Cups. This is you. They message you to tell you, hey, I really I really appreciate you. I'm so grateful with you. I want to take a risk and connect with you again. But they don't say sorry. But that's part of the deal, okay? Like someone is going to connect with you or someone is um, someone is connecting. And they're highlighting, I'm grateful to have you. I'm thankful to have you. I want to take a risk and exp like they want to take a they want to take a risk and really express their heart their feelings but it's not sorry they regret what i did maybe this person has not appreciated you they will be full on like this person is i'm not picking up a sorry but it's my, i really appreciate you i realize how good you are i realize how you know i really cared for you you know you will you feel such a relief and confused because the outcome in the immediate future, the way you perceive it is that, oh, okay, I realize you care about me, but I'm confused. Like they're giving you a lot of compliment. Like they're giving you, they're giving you some solid compliment in here, Scorpio. Like this is a person who's so big on, I really appreciate you now. And complimenting you for all the good stuff, for the loving, they admire you, but they don't say sorry. So this is where the confusion is coming from you, Scorpio. Like, oops, okay, that is a solid compliment, that is a solid gratefulness, that is solid acceptance. But wait, why compliment me? Well, if you read between the lines, that's another form of 
taking a risk to saying their feelings towards you. It's not exactly because Scorpio is deep, you know, also you're very structured as well. So for you, sometimes things would start to sorry and then deep feelings, deep emotions, and then you bond again. This person will go towards like they're highlighting how thankful they are of you. So don't misinterpret. So I'm, I'm picking up a vibe that because this is you, you're confused. Like, wait a minute, why are you giving me a lot of compliment? Are you sweet talking me? No, they're very sincere. They're really very sincere because they regret. There's a lot of regret from this person. They now appreciate you. So they will full blast compliment Scorpio. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Look at that. They're really putting a lot of effort into complimenting you. You're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Maybe it's a lover because it's a King of Wands. It's telling you, I never realized how amazing you are until I've lost you. I so regret it. Now I realize your value. But they don't say sorry. <laughs> and that's what you want to hear. Or they don't say I miss you or sorry or I love you. But they're big on compliment. It will get there. Okay? It will get there, Scorpio. <laughs> Be patient. Okay? Let, let them send you all of the compliment. It's real. They meant it. It's coming from the heart. And then... Who knows? It's going to go to, I'm sorry, I miss you, I love you. And then everything will fall into place. So just be patient, my Scorpio, okay? And um, it's very important, please listen to your mother, Four of Swords. Take a rest, okay? Take a break from watching me sleep. Aim to have a seven to eight hours sleep. Take a nap, healthy food, no starchy, cleanse, liver. I'm seeing liver in here. Scorpio, 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 listen to me. So that is me, guys. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I read you faithfully. And for private reading and for the merchandise, everything is processed in the website. Dream big, Scorpio. Dream big, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.